Welcome back to Clark Star Culinary. We are gonna be making some garlicky, lemon zesty, seared mahi-mahi. We're gonna start by removing the skin. And if you just take a little slice on one end and then work the knife down the fish, just kind of press into it and keep working your knife back and forth, back and forth and that skin will just come right off really easy. And just kind of tug on the skin while you're pulling. And see, it comes right off. Very nice. It's very easy to do that. And you can use the same technique on your salmon. After removing the skin, rinse the mahi-mahi off and blot it dry with a paper towel. Let's put together the marinade for this mahi-mahi. We'll need one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice, one tablespoon of lemon zest, a tablespoon and a half of avocado oil, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, and three cloves of garlic. And let's whisk these ingredients together. We're gonna take and brush the marinade over the mahi-mahi. I'm just gonna start with the back side first. let this marinate for at least 20 minutes. And you could do this overnight. That just means more flavor for you. Ooh, that garlic smells so good. All right, let's turn this over so we can get the other side seasoned with this marinade. on there. You can use this marinade with anything. You can use it with beef, pork, chicken. Anytime you want something that's garlicky and full of lemon flavor and zest, this is what you need. Let's make sure we use all of it. All right, I'm gonna set this to just marinate for about 20 minutes, and then we're gonna get over to the pan and get it all seared up really beautifully, and then we're gonna have dinner. We've got our beautiful mahi-mahi that's been marinating for 20 minutes. I made some steakhouse butter, and I'm gonna be using that with this recipe, and I will link that video here. Let's go ahead and put that in the pan and let it melt. As soon as that butter is melted, we're gonna go ahead and add in our mahi-mahi. We've got the temperature set to high right now. So as soon as you get the mahi-mahi into the pan, we're gonna turn the temperature down to medium. Cook on each side for three to five minutes, depending on the thickness. After you've seared both sides, you can remove it from the pan and get ready to serve. And this is our beautifully seared mahi-mahi. I really hope you all enjoy this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to hit the notification icon so that you can be notified of our next video upload. Remember, I'm here for you Monday through Friday. Until next time, bye-bye.